Right, Suns, Brick fans, and welcome back to another midweek episode of Building Bar 2 Galaxy's Edge in Lego. Now, in today's episode, I am going to be showing you my prototype for Doc Ondar's chandelier. It is a quite prominent feature within the building itself, so fairly important to get it right. I've got a few options towards the end of the video that I would love to get your opinions on, so please leave your comments below. Make sure you watch right until the end. Let's hit that hyperdrive and jump straight in. Okay, so kicking off Doc Ondar's uh, little time lapse here, I'm going to start off just by creating a whole bunch of clips. This is how I'm going to create a overall circular shape for the main kind of framing of the chandelier at the bottom and the top. There are two rings in there that I'll be working on. Basic color schemes here. I am going to try and go with the reddish brown around the uh, outside. I have had to use a few dark bluish grays here just because I don't have... Uh, the amount of reddish browns that I need but um, generally I think that this uh, kind of will be backed up with dark bluish gray reddish brown and the gold to really highlight things I'm going to try and stick a few black pieces in here as well uh, just to more for the like the strings and the connective pieces just so that it sits back and doesn't sort of overtake the uh, the brown and the golds they're kind of the focus point of what this is and i wanted to make it feel a little bit like an antique so that's why i've added a bit more of the gold in there uh, this shape was fairly difficult to work with uh, just because you're trying to create again another circle uh, that kind of feels nice and smooth needed to be quite wide and house a lot of different um, different lights on this i think in total there's uh, about eight lights that have got to hold this basically now is just me creating the connective pieces uh, using some ball joints, obviously needing to have these kind of tilt in and hold on to the top piece was a little bit tricky and if you don't get them exactly in the right spot they can be a little bit lopsided uh, because there's a lot of things that are moving parts. Obviously there's the top shapes of the clips around the frames there's the connective pieces which can twist and also the ball joints that can kind of move around a little bit and, and turn the angle. So it is a little bit fiddly to get kind of as circular as, uh, as you can get it without it kind of tilting. This section here is just me working on the uh, smaller lights dangling here. Now these lights uh, will be black predominantly um, and I do really like how they turned out. I will actually be putting LEDs through all of these, uh, but I do have to order them similar to this. So this is just a bare LED that I've kind of put in there. This one's actually a uh, pure white LED. So it actually, when you put it into the yellow, comes off looking a little bit uh, green. But I will actually pick up a yellow LED because I want that sort of warmer light for these guys. So in total, yeah, the eight lights... Uh, all of them lit up and this will actually be the primary lighting source for the interior of Doc Ondar's uh, so that when I shoot it, it'll work out later. This top section here is just something I've been working on. I'm not really sure 100% what I'm going to do here. I wanted to try a few different bits with the lights. Uh, I tried these sort of gold uh, wheel plate base plates. There should be sort of three circles in the center. Uh, but I think I'm going to try these wagon wheels as well. Uh, and also just dangling them straight off with the chains here. If there's any of these that you think will work, like the chains just dangling these, let me know in the comments below uh, if throughout the episode you feel like uh, that would have been a better option than where I end up. Just let me know in the comments below so that I can look at doing that for the uh, revisions. Here's another chain uh, version that I tried, uh, which I don't really think worked out too well. And now here also is a couple of options that I wanted to work on for the lights. So this one actually is uh, having it so that you have a wagon wheel on the top and it's actually using, again, a little hinge joint with a actual bar in there, which I quite like. Um, and then I wanted to use the chains at the top to actually hold the chandelier up. Um, but I did end up trying a few different things with the chains just to try and add a little bit more personality in there, um, which you will see in a little bit. 
but generally uh, I think I will probably end up using the chains just to hold it up and let the rest of them speak for themselves. You can see that I've got a few different options here that uh, I'd love to get you guys' opinions on. So we'll have a bit of a closer look at them in a second, uh, but there is definitely three options for the lights. And here I'm just playing again with those chains and uh, trying to get some interest around there. But I think maybe it might be a bit too much, but uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Okay, so here it is, the chandelier prototype, sort of in the space. Uh, it's meant to take up a fair bit of the room here. So there are the eight lights hanging with the three different options. And the chandelier is just loosely at the moment put into place. Here is the three options. So you've got the first one with the gray top. You've got the one with the gums and the wagon. And then this one is actually a double up with the wagon and the gray top. So let me know which one you guys think I should go with uh, in this section. I'll make all three of them sort of the same. Uh, I think I'm leaning towards the gray just because it seems to work. Well, there you go. That pretty much wraps up the prototype episode for the chandelier. I will be doing another episode later on just with some of the edits uh, and based off your comments below. So please leave them down there. I am really hoping that you guys can help me out with which way to go, uh, particularly on the lighting and which way to do some of the chains uh, up that chandelier. And I will make some of those revisions next week uh, and then Hopefully I can get all of the uh, brick pieces in also. So until then, you've got Building Bar 2, uh, the main episode, which is coming up this Sunday. And then also I have another live next week where I will continue to make the milk stand from Galaxy's Edge. I'm going to start moving into some of those other sections uh, on these midweek episodes. So that's pretty exciting coming up on the channel. If you haven't already and you are still watching, please hit that subscribe button below. Enjoy your building, till the spire, and may the bricks be with you.